Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Tactics on the Bench. As always, I'm your coach, Andy, and today we continue our reaction lineup. So, I actually had the opportunity to do a reaction with one of my uncles from Brazil and a cousin. Um, it's going to be a little off, guys, so I'm sorry for the sound. I'm sorry about the quality. It's the best I could do with all the things I had on hand at that time. Um, especially the sound is going to be pretty loud as far as background noise um i did however put some captions and for my fellow brazilians who do watch the channel i'm sorry for the loose translation but it was the best i could do at that moment and i didn't want to retake the video like 80,000 times um today we are actually looking at zico zico is one of the most prolific soccer players that brazil has ever had and you're gonna see without a doubt that he was definitely a master of the ball a master of free kicks a master of pass and play it, it was just an amazing experience to get to watch it and also have my uncle there explaining to me what it was like for him to see this player while he was growing up all right guys let's see it my uncle marcio and my cousin danielle they're gonna do this reaction video with me so let's go ahead and check it out então, tio Marcio, se você, assim, falar que o Zico é um dos melhores jogadores, numa lista entre 1 a 10, você acha qual número ele ficaria? É, pra mim, foi o melhor jogador que eu já vi até hoje. Eu acho que ele, pra mim, ele era um jogador completo. Ele tanto fazia gol, como ele fazia jogada, a visão de jogo que ele tem, ele fato de gol, normalmente ficava bem posicionado e olha a genialidade. Wow. So, so what my uncle was saying is that for him, Zico is definitely top five best players of history because of his positioning on the ball, his control of the ball, and then his mobility while he's got the ball uh, in a movement. And just look from what you can see there, it's just insane the way he's he's looking at the ball and he's just doing crazy stunts like this. It's insane. Acho que o talento dele, unido ao profissionalismo que ele tinha, ele pra mim é o jogador mais completo que eu já vi. Só não ganhou a Copa do Mundo. E o resto que ele jogou se não ganhou todos. E ele não era o centroavante, né? Que é o homem de gol. E ele quantas vezes foi artilheiro em todos os campeonatos que ele jogava. So he's, he's actually saying something very true. Uh, unfortunately, Zico didn't have the opportunity to win a World Cup, but for a lot of these tournament, tournaments that he participated in, he was always one of the best and top scorers. And from what you can see, just, wow, like that is insane. Let's just look at that again. He, he waits for the ball, he comes in, does a bicycle kick, and it's just beyond this world. Like, I get that, you know, you get some of these players like uh, Gareth Bale, Ronaldo, and some of these big um, games, and they sit there and they'll do a bicycle out of nowhere, but this guy's just doing it consistently on a daily basis. You don't really get that from players that I think. He's saying that in Brazil here, they believe that that's one of the best goals he's ever done, and he even says it himself, especially because that was done with the side of his foot. So that's insane. Then you know, have, have you ever like, have you ever really seen this player in action? Have you ever watched a video of his? Before? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. And as like as a, as the kids, do you admire players like this, or are you looking more to the newer generation? Eu admiro muito ele, porque tipo, se você for parar para observar, ele tem muita visão de jogo e um monte de motor de bola. Assim. Eu acho que é a que mais destaca nele, assim, tá? O que ele está dizendo é que ele realmente admira os jogadores como esse, que realmente ensina ele a controlar o controle, especialmente porque o Daniel aqui é um jogador de meio-fielder, então ele realmente ama a maneira que ele controla a bola, a maneira que ele controla ele, e ele é realmente um jogador muito, muito bom carrier when it comes to having the 
terminava o treino, todo mundo ia no vestiário, ia embora, eu ficava no campo, tá? Ele falou, eu cansei de fazer gol de falta, o goleiro normalmente não era uma farinha, ele pendurava na rede pra secar o rosto, o calor, ele virava na, na, na toalha. O goleiro às vezes, ela pode ver que muitas vezes você vai ver uma farinha. Né? Ele falou, quantas vezes eu já chutei a bola lá? Lá o goleiro não chegava. So this is actually mind-blowing, something I've never really heard of before. And, and if you've noticed, a lot of the a lot of the goalkeepers, what they'll do, sorry, one second. So if you've noticed, what a lot of goalkeepers do is they'll have a little sweat towel on the corner of their goal. And what my two Marshu is saying is that what he would do is he would actually use that as a basis for where his shots would be placed. Especially because apparently this guy was one of the greatest free kick takers that Brazil has ever had. So what he would do is when he was lining up his shot, he would line it up with the towel on the corner of the goal and just place the ball perfectly. Most of the time hitting that towel. That is insane. Beyond beyond anything that I have ever seen from any other player that I've studied so far. So that's great. All right, guys. Well, that is it for Zico. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, once again, sorry for the sound quality. The sound quality was a little rough. I did my best to adjust it. Uh, however, if you did enjoy this content, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe if you're new. And if you got me on all other social media platforms, be sure to uh, hit that share button. If you do want my social media platforms, they're down in the description below. Be sure to hit those links. Um, other than that, hit that comment box. Let me know what you thought. Let me know who else I should be reacting to. And by the way, I'm setting up a live reaction uh, on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash tactics on the bench. So we're going to be doing that perhaps by the end of this week on Friday. I'm going to aim for Friday. Stay tuned. I'll definitely have a message coming up on that. All right, guys. Well, until next time, keep the bench warm.